Okay. Because we still have this ingot that we can use. So let's visit our friendly neighborhood forge master. Kaba. Welcome. Do you wish something? Yes, please. Um... Not the bow. Definitely our blades make them more powerful. Yeah, slight increase in sword damage. Let's go ahead and buy this. Uh, Ek Ekbatana seal. So, we can get more of these time crystals. And let's go ahead and get the arrowhead. Just the damage of arrows. Yeah, I don't really care about dealing damage with arrows, honestly. That's going to open up something. We can reach whatever that marker is. Oh, oh hey. Man. Sargon, Varum saw Anahita's guards, and he's in pursuit. As for me, I cannot continue. Time flows differently here. My mind is playing tricks on me. I can't discern the truth from the imaginary. Artaban, thank you for being honest with me. Does this mean you're retreating? I'm not giving in just yet. I intend to serve until my last breath. After all, if Anahita really has changed loyalties, I believe you're short of a sparring partner. Oh. You know what? Let's do a challenge. So these are basically tutorials. Let's warm up and review the basics. The basics, again. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Get in position. Show me how you chain ground attacks. Okay. There we go. Very well. Bear in mind, you can redirect your next attack. Since you propel your opponent away with your last strike, that's the end of the chain. At close range, the sweep is good against smaller foes. You can also chain attacks afterwards. Oh? So now we know how to juggle. Bum, bum, boom. That's very good to know, actually. An enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their feet. Make use of that. Perfect to cripple agile enemies. Mm -hmm. Remember, 
that you move forward with each attack. If you want to keep your distance, the sweep allows you to maintain your position. Okay. This doesn't suit your style, but some situations might require you to take such precautions. Precautions? What precautions? Hmm. My point exactly. Sweet. Launchers. Do you remember what I told you about propelling enemies up in the air? An airborne enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their feet. Correct. <laughs> At least that got in your head. Let's go over your upward attacks. Use them to hit targets above you, but also to propel ground enemies in the air. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> a word of warning. Using the same upward attack twice in a row will lessen its effectiveness. Mm, okay. You can also use an upward attack in a fighting combination. Be sure you're within range to strike. Okay. Bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Following through with your attacks lets you stay in the action. Remember, Russia Bar. Even a constant wind can carve a mountain. Now then, the forward slide. It's a chance to engage with an offensive advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very good launcher. Closing the distance. That suits me. Now let's combine everything. Chase the enemy midair after your upward attack. Okay, I love it when they make it um, hold to bring yourself up to an enemy, just like in uh, like DMC. Vary your upward attacks. The same one twice in a row will not give you the same propulsion. I understand. Alright, next one. Aerial attacks. How many of these are there? Whew, there's a lot. And there's some we don't even have unlocked yet. Now for a specialty of yours. Acrobatic techniques. Ready for the next lesson? I'm always ready. You know about mid-air combinations, but there are other options. Try to reach the flying enemy. On it. <laughs> Easy enough. You cannot chain attacks after this move, but it should prove itself useful in certain situations. Yep. Alternatively, you can aim at enemies directly below you. Mind your position. Ooh. Okay, weird weirdly enough, I really well, like that animation. To lift up 
the enemy. You can send the enemy up even higher with aerial combinations rather than sending them far away. Ooh, okay. Okay. So. This technique is valuable. You can save on time or throw your foe towards environmental hazards. Mm -hmm. Should you see a use for it, you can also send them crashing into the ground if you prefer. Yep. Rush to the ground afterwards. I can maintain my flow before they get back on their feet. Yep. <laughs> For that, you know more than I do. I'm past the age to perform cartwheels at the fair. Huh. Very funny. Sweet. Now we know that. Charge attacks. Author charge attacks. Sargon. Remind me what our ancestors said about Athra. Athra flows through the universe and all living things. As much as weapons are the extension of our bodies, Athra is the extension of our will. Precisely. You've been listening. Athra can be channeled, intensified in your blades, until they are saturated with energy. Athra charged attacks have several advantages. They can be destructive, and even increase your focus. Okay. Sends out a shockwave. Look at you. I can see your Afra radiating. You've embraced the teachings of our ancestors. You've come a long way since I met you. But, mastery is a never-ending journey. Now then, focus your Athra in the middle of a ground combination. Right in between moves. I'll give it a try. Nice, okay. You see that? It's effective at annihilating enemy defenses. And if they do not break, they will certainly be weakened. Are you also able to do that in the air? I've practiced the technique to crush targets from above. I'll show you. Oh? Nice, okay. So they made it intuitive. Perfect. These are strong attacks. And they knock back the enemy, marking the end of the combination. With proper training, Athra, the everlasting blaze, is yours to channel and control. Sweet, okay. Enemy reactions. Different enemies react with different properties. Learn to recognize those. No fighting style rules above all. The greatest combatants understand adaptability. Knowing your opponent's strengths is key to bringing them down. Take massive opponents, for example. 
they react differently to upward attacks. Give it a go. Let me guess, they don't get swept into the air. Yeah, they just get hit back. My strikes knocked them back, but they're too heavy for me to lift them off the ground. Worse still, some opponents can ignore the recoil of your strikes because of their build or magic. You must be vigilant, as this means they can counterattack during your fighting combinations. Are there even worse enemies out there? None of my attacks have any effect on them. Not showing signs of pain doesn't mean they didn't get hurt. And careful what you wish for. The Citadel is full of mysteries. We're not out of the woods yet. And one more thing. Some enemies can recover while you're in the middle of your combination. Yep, I've seen that. Some can parry your next strike, cutting short your chain of attacks. You can find out for yourself. I see more and more the benefit of sending the enemy up in the air whenever that's possible. But you know that's not always possible. The best defense is not always offense. Sweet. A warrior who throws himself into the fray without defensive skills can win battles, but never wars. It's not the first time I've heard you say that. The goal is to structure combat in such a way as to hit the enemy without ever being hit in return. Your dodges, backwards and forwards, allow you to pass through enemy attacks and remain unscathed. Oh. Your last strike in a ground combination does not allow these actions. The price to pay for power. You can also end your combination early with a jump. While in the air, you can dodge by doing a backflip. Whoop. Jumping while chaining attacks can also be used offensively. Parrying is the best defense against a head-on attack, turning the table in your favor. Not all attacks can be parried. If you're attacked from both sides, Escaping is your best option. Yep, as I've learned the hard way. Parrying and dodging are not unique to us, Sargon. You can expect enemies who can do the same. Advanced movements. Learn to re-engage combat and keep up the offensive pressure. You already know this well. How recovering your balance after striking is when you're most vulnerable. After a successful dodge, the odds are in your favor. Launch a counterattack right at that moment. Okay. Bump, bump, bump. bump. 
Oops, I gotta do it a little faster. Could do this all day long. Let's not. <laughs> Attacking from behind is also advantageous, and even more so when the enemy is already engaged. Okay. against fast foes. They may turn around and punish your attempt at a sneak attack. Only if they can match my speed. You can kick while sprinting to propel the enemy into the background. Wait, what? And to make a loud entrance. <laughs> Dropkick! Hey Love a good dropkick. <laughs> Sprinting allows you to close the distance. You can still perform an upward attack. Everything about the parry. Parry the platypus! Artaban, I want to perfect my parrying technique. What do you have for me? The art of parrying requires perfect timing, and faced head-on. There we go. Hiya. Get ready to parry. As you may have discovered, projectiles can also be returned to the sender. Yep. More. Not all projectiles can be parried. I take it ones with a red glow can. Some moves give you better opportunities to counter. Learn to identify them and don't miss. Yep, vengeful counter. <laughs> Few enemies are able to recover from your rush of our counters. Actually, I named them downburst counters. And yet the the game has also called them vengeful counters. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> I wish I could parry any attack. You know that's impossible, even for me. Fortunately, your senses are sharp. You'll know in advance if an attack can be parried or not. Yep, if it's got a red glow. This isn't the whole day's lesson, right? There is a lesson in every failure. Did you see the effect of the hit you took? That's what you get when you miss a parry and pay for it. Getting hit this way is particularly dangerous, and your Arthra focus takes a hit too. Oh. Well, I can feel it in my jaw now. Alright, that's everything about parries. Parrying the platypus.
Athra, the everlasting blaze, the unifying energy that interlaces the cosmic tapestry. It's the flame that gives and takes, embodying the very core of existence. Its presence and blessing extend throughout the cosmos. By discerning the cadence of Athra's flow, you can better navigate exercises and cures. Athra bestows stability and longevity upon those who seek its guidance. Sargon, your Athra burns brighter with each successful technique and can be unleashed all at once. Athra Surge. I've used it before. Get in position and start channeling it. Wait, is there a... There we go. Conversely, taking hits will break your focus and your Athra will dissipate. Riskier actions, such as parrying and launching charged attacks, are even more effective. Try to parry this enemy and see how fast you can gather your Athra. Aye aye, Captain. Come on. There. Keep in mind that dodging is safer, but it will not build up Athra. Parry whenever you can. Let's talk about the Athra Surge. Since it has dodging properties, it's ideal for counterattacks. It's useful for breaking down defenses and can stop attacks that are usually, well, unstoppable. Yeah, because it seems like so far, um, I could be wrong about this, but I believe it gives you, um, invulnerability frames while it's active. Every warrior prides themselves on developing their ultimate techniques, but you can also learn from them. Keep in mind that Athra ignites the soul, gracefully moving through unending transformation. Harnessing and charging its strength is merely a single expression of its multifaceted nature. Fine work. You now know all the basics. Don't forget, you can always visit for a training session. If you learn new moves, perhaps we can figure out together how to use them. Take this for starters. Hey, a new author surge. Vayu's Wave. Release a powerful, unfurling wave of Athra that pushes back the enemy. The end of the move can be interrupted. Can be triggered from the ground or in the air. Equip your author surges at a walk walk tree. Okay, so that's a new level one. Good to see you. But we still have more. The bow. Not my weapon of choice, but I've observed men alliance in combat. I can teach you a few things. I can't copy his unconventional fighting style, 
but I can incorporate it into my own style. Hmm. For some warriors, being too technical can get in the way of the ideal of perfection. Let's start with the basics. The bow itself. Let your senses guide your weapon. Let them carry you. By pressing the triangle button. It's almost too easy. You'd think this bow is enchanted. Not enchanted but infused by the Arthra of a Menelias from years and years of battling. Shooting an arrow after a jump will halt your descent. Ooh. The arrows are also strong enough to lift your enemies up in the air. Go on, give it a shot. Oh, interesting. So... This is usually the stuff where... <sighs> yeah, this is usually the kind of combat stuff that I can't really do. Nah. <sighs> Come on, I could have gotten that one. is a good trick. It allows for many possibilities. It does, but it's also kind of a pain to pull off. What did Menelaus tell you about the chakra? Uh, not much. I remember him parrying the chakra to have it bounce back. Get ready to parry. Oh? Oh, that's cool! That's really cool! Man! I see you're getting good at this. I'm already good. Perfection can't be that hard. Okay, hotshot. Calm down. Yeah, I didn't know that about the, uh, the chakram. Alright. Where should the smirk? Artaban, I need to tell you something. After I defeated the Manticore, I found a feather charged with energy. A relic of the Simog? Oh, I've only read of its blessings through scriptures. But to even find one? I can slip through space and move through it in an instant. Perhaps you can use it to regain control after being thrown. Yep. Hit me! Hit me, Batman! Hit me! This power has real potential. But it seems you must put your feet on the ground before using it again. Yep. Staying in the air for longer must also have its advantages. Like chasing down an airborne enemy. Yep. Bump, 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 bump. So if there's one issue. You develop any other skills come and see me again i cannot guarantee that i can teach you everything but i can try thank you artaman 